welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time here. My name is Erin and I so appreciate you joining me for this week's episode of Hashtag Friday Sews. Thank you so much to Jen from Today in Jen Sewing Room for starting this hashtag that lets us get together every week here in the YouTube sewing community to talk about what we've been up to, what our plans are, and a little bit about life so we can all get to know each other better. Um, this week, I got a couple things done. I mentioned in last week's Friday Sews that I was going to be out of town. Brady and I were gone for like five days. We went to Texas to go see my family. We spent a lot of time with my mom. Um, and I didn't think I would get a lot done because I was gone and I, I sort of did, sort of didn't. Um, but it's, it's my mom and she sews. And so we worked on some stuff that I will be talking about. Um, in no particular order, one very small thing that I did when we got back that I am just, I'm, I'm proud of myself for doing this small task that to be honest, I was planning on putting off. I was going to wait until I absolutely had to do it. Um, last week I talked about these pajamas I made for little Brady. She's, um, it's my daughter. She's 15 months old. Um, I had cut the cuffs incorrectly and they didn't stretch. Um, so I took them off. I had an extra, these are the Ellie and Matt grow with me pajamas or the pajama top for it. Um, so they have an option where you can have a really long cuff that you can fold up as needed or unfold it as they, they lengthen. Um, so that is what I originally had on here, but it wasn't stretchy. I had another one of the cuffs cut for a fail pair of pajamas that I talked about last week. So I just used that. I cut it in half and have two just normal length cuffs that stretch. So don't have to put her poor little fists, like stuff them through anymore. We can more easily put it on. It's still like dressing an alligator, but easier. So I just, I'm glad I did that. I was, I was gonna put it off, but I took care of it and now they're done. Uh, for those, I also talked about needing to take in the elastic on the waistband. So I folded uh, probably about an inch and a half and stitched it. I didn't cut it or trim it or anything or go to the original spot where it was overlapped. Um, I just brought it in a little bit. I'm gonna have her probably wear them tonight. We let her pick her clothes, but if I put something on top of her pajama pile, that's usually what gets picked. So I'm gonna see if she wants to wear them tonight and then see kind of how that waistband fits now. The other pajamas I made her, the Halloween ones last week, um, which so many people commented that they're super cute and they are. I'm going to include a picture of her. I put her in them for our flight back because it was late enough that by the time we got in the car, she was going to knock out and she did. So I just wanted her in pajamas. Plus she's a toddler. So it looked just kind of like a cute little outfit. She got so many compliments in the airport. So many people were like, oh my God, you're so ready for Halloween and you look so cute and great outfit. So, um, that was fun and she's very sociable. So she was like, ah, and would laugh and smile. So just an update on how cute the pajamas are on the very cute little baby. And like I said, I'll include a picture of her um, that I took on the plane. So that's all about pajamas. I can stop talking about baby pajamas for a minute. I'm gonna have to make her more soon, but for a minute, we're done with baby pajamas. <laughs> um, the other thing I worked on when I got back was my Rhapsody blouse that I started last week, I am to the point where I'm putting the sleeves on and that's gonna be the finishing. I do still have to make the bias tape for it. So that's gonna take a minute. I would like to get it done by Sunday because we're gonna have um, some family pictures taken, but if not, it's not a huge deal, but I would like to get that done. So that's kind of the priority. I worked on that. And then uh, when my mom and I were together, we did go to Joanne's because that's just kind of one of the things we do. I got a couple pieces of like um, remnants slash chance fabrics, nothing too terribly interesting. But the important thing I got was fabric for Brady's Halloween costume. I am sewing a Simplicity 2788 View B. It's a pumpkin, but she is obsessed with blueberries. So I'm making her a blueberry, whatever. She's gonna be a little fruit. Um, I got the fabric for it which is this, um, what was that called? Whatever, I'm not even gonna guess. It's like a um, polyester crushed velvety situation. 
I need to get better at fabric identification, clearly. But um, I'll find what it's actually called, at least per Joann's, and I'll put it down here. But yeah, this is like perfect. Um, when I was talking to Adam about it, we were kind of talking about different options. Uh, he said that he liked that it looks like when a blueberry is wet, which I thought was a very um, astute observation. So that is how that's going. This is actually going to be the little hat. I'm not doing the stem. I'm doing, I'm in, in some way, haven't quite figured out how yet, in some way I'm going to fashion the little um, the star bit thing that is on, I think it's actually on the bottom of blueberries, but it's an identifiable feature of blueberries. So I'm going to do a little black star. Somehow. But I got this, I got the fleece to um, fuse to it. I cut all of the pieces. So now I just need to get to sewing them together and then I'll have a little blueberry. I'm not doing the uh, jumpsuit underneath because we'll be back in Texas actually for um, Halloween. I moved away from Texas and now I'm spending a lot of time in Texas. Anyway, we'll be back there for Halloween with my family and it's it's usually pretty warm there still so I'll probably just buy like a white t-shirt and leggings or something for her to wear underneath. So that is the current progress on her little blueberry costume and then the other thing I worked on at my mom's was um pinning some things for her uh basting them so we have an Etsy store and she had made some like table runners and a little throw and stuff that are spooky um, for the spooky season. I know we're already like halfway through, but uh, she is a paraplegic and can't get down on the floor to pin larger items herself. She did do a table runner by herself, like on the table and she, she can make it work, but for larger items, she needs either my sister or I to pin them. So I, I pinned some stuff for her and then we got some things posted on our shop for the spooky season. I'll link it down below if you just want to see what she did. Oh, and I'll include some pictures of what I was pinning and working on because I think my mom makes some great stuff. So I will include pictures around here of uh, what she slash we were kind of working on. So next week, the plans are to finish that Rhapsody. Like I said, I want to get it done by Sunday. We'll see how much time I have. Um, I did bring back something uh, that my mom made to go ahead and pin since I'm going to be back there and like two weeks so I can go ahead and get it basted for her and then she can sew it because it is fall themed. Um, it is, here, let me stand up and show you. A leaf quilt, it's like a throw size. So this is the top and then this is the flannel she bought to go on the back. So I am going to go ahead and get that basted for her. So that then she can quilt it. I'm I'm not signing up to quilt it. I told her I'd baste it. I'm not. Don't don't sign. I I do quilt my own things on my domestic machine and it's fine. But like, don't put me down for that. Don't sign me up for extra quilting. At one point when we were talking about the shop opening the Etsy shop, my mom was like, "Well, I can make quilt tops and you can go ahead and quilt them." I'm trying to like sell me on it, like it was some great idea and that I would just oops, sorry, I keep hitting that. Um, that I would just be like so jonesed about just quilting things on my normal domestic sewing machine. I was like, no, she, she did not sell me on that. Anyway, so I'm going to try to get that basic. I don't know if I'll do it this week or next. I just need to do it before we get back there. Um, there are other things I want to do a little more than base to quilt, but if I have time, I'll go ahead and get that done this week. I, I have my own stack of fall fabric that I've talked about a couple of weeks in a row now, I think, um, that I want to do something with that I just haven't gotten around to. Being out of town didn't help, but I want to do at least a couple small projects of my own for the shop. So I need to look at those. Will I complete them this week? Debatable because Adam's birthday, Adam is my husband, if you're new here, um, Adam's birthday is Friday, next Friday, so a week from today. And I knew that, I know what his birth date is, but it like didn't sink in until like two days ago. I was like, oh, birthday, 
birthday gift. Husband, I love him, want to get him a birthday gift. But I don't know what to do. So I have a couple ideas. I have some joggers cut for him already that he knows about that I could sew up for him. But that feels kind of lame. Like, oh, I have this already halfway completed and you know about it, so I just finished it. Um... So I don't know. My other idea is when I got all that fall fabric, I got this flannel and he really liked it. So I bought some more when my mom and I were at Joanne's the other day. Um, and between the two cuts, I have enough. I originally got this to be like the backing of a throw, a fall themed throw. But I don't know if I'm going to end up making a throw with this fabric. I think I'm gonna end up making some smaller bits and bobs. So I have quite a lot of, I think this was three yards and then I think I got another two. So I have a lot. Um, I should have enough to make a flannel shirt because that's what he liked it for that. It's flannel. He liked it for a flannel shirt. What a concept. Um, it is printed on the bias, which I think is interesting. I've been kind of brainstorming do I want to cut it on the bias so that most of the shirt is like straight up and down? Or do I want to, and then do the yoke so that it's on the bias, how a lot of shirts are done? Or do I want to go ahead and cut it on the grain and then, wait, yeah, it would be this way. Have it be on the grain, I think I want to do it that way. Plus then it's a little more, um, structure has a little more not floppiness I can't think right now um so yeah that is something I would like to do I think I'm going to use simplicity 9691 which is the same pattern I used for the joggers I've made it one pair of these I have another pair cut um and it does include a flannel shirt so look at that um view d yeah view d is a flannel shirt. So I think I want to try and get that done as a surprise for him. He doesn't, no, he knows I bought more of this. I told him I bought some of it because I want to make him a shirt, but I think it would be nice to have it done for him. So we'll see. The problem is that he like hangs out with me a lot in here, especially on like in the nights and the weekends. And we just started the newest season of Love is Blind. So if I'm working on it with him in here, He's obviously going to know. And I have very limited time to work on it without him in here. So being honest with myself, I'm not going to get this done for his birthday. Being aspirational, I'm going to have it done. We'll see. We'll see. I think I can prioritize it, but I really want to do my Rhapsody. There's too many, too many projects, not enough time. It's not always the case. Um, that is it for my sewing plans. That is it. It's more than I can accomplish in a week, but I have options. I want to work on her costume, but that's not really a priority yet. Um, I don't want to end up in crunch time with it, but it's not a priority yet. So I'm not too concerned about it. I'm going to prioritize the Rhapsody and the shirt for Adam because I do really want to do that for him. And yeah, that's it in terms of life. Like I said, we were in the DFW area. My family lives in Arlington. Um, it's not where I'm from, but it's kind of where they settled. So uh, we went and visited them for a couple days. Brady, right before we left, decided that sleeping at night is just not her thing. Um, if you've been here before, you know that I complain about her sleep kind of a lot. Um, but she just is not a sleeper. Some kids, some people are sleepers. She is not. I. We should have known Adam and I don't really nap. So we should have seen this coming. But she decided just to like not sleep half the night for many nights. And then once we got to Arlington, she continued the trend. One night she was up for six hours and like she was happy. But if I tried to leave her and be like, hey, well, you can just be happy and talk to yourself. I'm going to go sleep. So angry. So I did not sleep a lot. Um, my mom and I were kind of just in survival mode trying to get through the day because obviously when you don't sleep and when your baby doesn't sleep, everyone's grumpy, including the baby. So that is, that is my quota of whining about baby sleep for this vlog. Thank you for joining me to once again, whine about that. But 
it was it was a nice trip. It was nice to spend time with my mom. But when you don't sleep, um, things are a little rough. That is that. Um, coming up this weekend, though, there are a couple things going on here in Ocean Springs, which I mean, that's the other thing that I talk about obsessively these days is how much I love where we live. We are um, going to go probably tomorrow, depending depending how Brady sleeps, because does, doesn't that drive everything? Um, I'm going to go to, I believe it's pronounced Fesh. Fesh in the coast. It is an Irish cultural festival. Um, there's actually a school for Irish dancing here in Ocean Springs, and they do lessons and stuff. So they, I believe, are putting on this um, Fesh festival, and um, they'll have dancing, food, um, competitions for art, music, um, singing, dancing, or are they just showing dancing? I don't know. We're going to go find out. Uh, part of my heritage is Irish. My name is Erin. My name is actually Erin Brady, which is where Brady got her name from. My great grandparents came from Ireland. Um, whatever. We like to go do Irish stuff and kind of see what it's about. So we're going to do that. And then on Sunday, um, the friends of the cultural council or something here are putting on an open house. And part of that is mini photo sessions, um, with a photographer that looks awesome. I like looked at her Instagram looks awesome. They are five minute mini portrait sessions. And we decided, um, to go ahead and get our like family. We do holiday cards, new year's cards, Go ahead and just get that picture taken care of for like $35, five minutes. We can, we should be able to focus Brady, hopefully for five minutes, get some good pictures, a good picture, literally all I want. Um, and then just kind of have that done. So that is Sunday. That's it. And then next week, my best friend should be coming to visit. She's driving. So like plans are flexible. Um, that she should be coming down next week, which will be fun. We'll hang out and I'll show her Ocean Springs and I can talk to her obsessively about how much I love it here. That is, that is it. I lose focus. Like, I feel like when I start the videos, I have, I have my notes, I'm ready. I know what I'm going to talk about. But then as I talk, it's just, I start like word vomiting. And then by the end of the video, I'm just like, I don't even know what my brain is doing. Part of it, probably sleep deprivation. Other part of it is probably that most of the time I'm talking to someone who can't talk back to me. So I'm used to word vomiting, but I don't know. I really appreciate those of you who hang in there through my videos and leave such, such nice comments. Um, had some really fun conversations lately and made some cool connections with people. So thank you so much for watching this video this week's episode of hashtag friday sews i have a couple extra video ideas floating around in my noggin that i'm hoping to maybe film this weekend so i can get them up over the next couple of weeks stay tuned for those and yeah that does it i hope you have a wonderful weekend i hope you get out and enjoy the weather whatever it is where you live whether it is crisper and more fall like already or whether you regret wearing a sweater by 10 a.m right there with you. Have a great weekend and I will see you guys next week. Bye.